Hey guys, it's Aubrey and Tara, and welcome back. Today we're going to be making puff pastry apple roses. These are adorable, flaky, warm, and irresistible. So without further ado, let's get started. So first we're going to make our lemon water mixture. In a large bowl, mix together three cups of water and four tablespoons of lemon juice. This mixture prevents the apples from oxidizing, so you do not want to skip this step. Then set aside. Next, you'll need four apples, and we're going to cut the apples. To do that, start by cutting your apple in half, then core those two slices with a watermelon baller. Then place the apples face side down and cut them into paper thin slices. The thinner the better, but they don't need to be super thin, as long as they're pliable, they're good. And immediately add all of your apples into the lemon water mixture. Then once all of your apples are sliced, microwave that on high for 5 to 7 minutes. Once microwaved, they should look something like this. Now set the apples aside for later on. In a medium sized bowl, add in 4 ounces of softened cream cheese, 3 tablespoons of packed brown sugar, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beat that until smooth and creamy. And set aside. On a lightly floured surface, unwrap your thawed puff pastry dough. Roll it out into a rectangular shape of about 9 by 12 inches. With a pizza cutter, cut the dough into six even strips. And repeat with the other puff pastry sheet. Also, right before assembling, be sure to drain the apples. Now to assemble, take one strip of puff pastry and spread on some of your cream cheese mixture. Onto that, layer on the apples, overlapping one over the other. Make sure to have the top of the apple, which is the curved side, stick out a bit. Start rolling from one end, and don't make it too tight. And before you know it, you'll have a beautiful puff pastry rose. Then transfer that to a muffin pan. And repeat the process until you've made all 12 of the roses. These are so fun to make and adorable. Now bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. Once done, they should be puffed and lightly golden. Transfer to a cooling rack and let cool 15 minutes before serving. Also, be careful because they are really flaky. And be sure to sprinkle them with powdered sugar. We say this every time, but these are so good. Like, who doesn't like an apple wrapped in puff pastry shaped like a rose? It's just the best. You guys are going to love these. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and we will see you next week. Bye!